Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Mims. Beginning. I think I'm saying that right, Mims. The Mims, oh my god, this is a really cool looking game. It's uh, done by a three group team uh, called Squatting Penguins, I guess that's our company or group called. And uh, this is basically a, a fantasy RTS, and it has a lot of features. Uh, expansion of the colony, autonomy of uh, characters, researching and new technologies, upgrade buildings, uh, simulation of God. Ooh, I like that one. Special powers at players' disposals, protecting the colony from wildlife predators and vermin, planting your own fruit crops, various species of plants with different ways of yielding fruit, creating and taking care of livestock, selling livestock, and intergalactic, uh, internal galactic, I can't say it right, intergalactic, there you go, market, time uh, line allowing uh, predict the future events, ooh, I like that one, predicting the future, keeping away from pests and predators by controlling uh, smell sensor, whoa, that sounds weird, various floating islands with many unusual adventures, campaign mode, I want to see this other one. This sounds kind of cool. Keeping away pests and predators by controlling smell sensors. <laughs> so I guess we should get started. So I just want to warn you, there could be a billion bugs. There might not even be a single bug, but this is the beta demo. Um, the game is not out. Uh, you can get it right now. Well, you can, I don't think you can get it right now, but you can actually pre-order or pre-buy and support the group on Indigo. So in the description right now, you're going to get all the information you ever want about this. Uh, the game is probably going to release sometime in the next couple months. Uh, first quarter anyways this year, so that'll be pretty exciting. Um, the Indigo uh, special price right now I think is about $8. And then after once it's released, it's probably going to be between $13, $16, somewhere around there. They're also trying to get the game on Steam so you can go vote and support them. And uh, I'm going to give you a little tour of this. I'm going to be uh, doing this at the seat of my pants, if that makes any sense. So we're going to start fresh here. Um, and this is going to be really fresh. Let's just put it this way. So something went wrong. Our ship got wrecked. Our tribe is spread among the whole galaxy. Something went wrong. But it doesn't matter right now. We have to survive. The env environment uh, seems to be quite friendly for now. Unknown Mims Captain. So I guess the race is called Mims. How adorable is that? So there's a reset button. There looks like a back button. And of course here is the actual start button. So a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. A spaceship belonging to the incredible brave tribe Mims crashed in outer space. The survivors found themselves on a planet that until now was unknown, but take a look for yourself. Ooh, oh, look at that animated little tentacles, that's so adorable. Look at them, tentacle monsters. Oh my, they, these must be the Mims. Captain, are we, we, we? Hey, behind the screen, uh, screen don't abandon us or you're only hope. Oh my God, is he talking to me? Hey, they look like pleasure toys. We're gonna call them the Troy Pleasures. Okay, you have to help us. I think he's talking to me. We don't know where we are, leave this place. Our ship is too small, what can we do? I'd like to continue. The graphics are really nice. This is done in Unity, by the way. I was surprised by this. Uh, ah, we're gonna die, let's just give up. They're all so happy looking. Let's have some bio pudding first. <laughs> Let's wait for help. I prefer cookies. Captain, silence! It may surprise you, but the best solution is to wait for help. In two Mims days, this island will pass another group of castaways. What? Sounds kind of cool. Why did you get up there? Or why did you get up there? Yeah, why did you get up there? Why? We have to stay alive here. Then our transport will be able to reach our brothers. Together we'll figure something out. Unfortunately, our fate is in the hands of our survivor. Savior. Did I say survivor? But don't forget about our bio pudding. Oh my, look at them all happy. Oh no. I feel like they're looking at me for support. This is adorable. I just want to read this and watch them play. Oh, here you go. So, 
We caught uh, in this mess by a mistake. Orange Mims choose their god. Choose you as their god. Shortly, you'll be in sitting in a tower governing creatures to rotate, view, blah blah blah. So W A S D uh, goes up and around and down. Uh, you use a middle mouse button to zoom in and out. It doesn't look like it has any mouse control right now to double drag and click around. Uh, I might be doing it wrong right now. There is... Oh, there's... Oh, I see. You do it at the edge of the screens here. Now, mine's going to be a bit broken because I'm using the window mode. And uh, right now, the window mode, uh, the way my computer is set up, I can't reach to the right to the bottom right now. So don't blame the game. It's me. Um, but yeah, there we go. So we're going around. Perfect. So we know how to zoom in, go around. It looks like we got inf some stuff up here. Ooh, you can open and close the basic menu by clicking their icons. So structures, seeds... And PSI powers, Psi powers, that is so cool. I played a game called Neocron many years ago with that uh, term, uh, PSI, Psi. I think it's supposed to be called Psi, Psychic, I'm assuming, but I call it PSI for some reason. Uh, structures, oh, here we go. Uh, how are you going to sit in a tower if it's not there? Uh, the time to come build a PSI tower, the range of your fury, uh, further action will limit the tower's reach so you choose a placement wisely arranging the buildings and flutes to develop the village okay to build the tower click the button and structure in order to rotate blah 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 okay so i think we click this and then we right click somewhere oh it's telling me a suggested spot should we listen to them or should we just go off a bit <laughs> i went off just a wee bit let's see stop me now i feel like something's gonna come down oh are they building Look at these little adorable creatures. What are you doing down there? What? Are they praying to it? Or they're like... They're like... It's freaky. It's like E.T. Like... Oh, they're like singing to it kind of thing while it's building. Uh, great. Now you have a PSI tower. Also, well, since it's not capitalized, I, th I think it's Psy. Also, you're... Blah, blah, blah. Also, you know how to order the MIMS to build the tower and absorb the charges of your PSI energy. PSI energy indicates... Uh, indicator is in the top right corner of the screen. Um, there we go. So, top right. Oh, wow. Oh, my. That's complicated looking. The PSI engine will charge faster if you deliver enough electric... Uh, city to the tower, otherwise the PSI will be absorbed much slower. Unfortunately, blow the world. Mims, uh, ah, I shouldn't be doing this at like 7 a.m., but I'm excited. I want to do this now. Fortunately, the psychology, physiology, there you go, and the world of the Mims are much more Sophiest. Oh, holy crap, these are big words, too big for Kane. Then one could think, let's continue, shall we? Resource for creating, building, and other uh, things is biomass. Mims can make biomass, but they need three elements in the process. Yellow biofruits gathered by the Mims, an extractor, which is in fact a big juicer, ooh, uh, where the Mims will drop gathered fruit. That kind of sounds cute. Uh, silos, which the biomasser made uh, in the extractor, will be stored. Ah, I like the idea of silos. Need more silos, not enough silos. Let's start with the bile fruit. Uh, as it's known, fruit grows on trees. Well, not always. They can explode. What the? What? They explode to spread and the same... What? Wait, 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 wait. Okay, they can explode to spread and it's the same in this world. First, you have to grow the plant, which will yield the fruit. To do so, choose the bile wand plant from the seed menu and plant it. Don't hesitate to plant two seeds. You know what? I'm going to plant three seeds. And there is no stopping me. So here's an extractor. Here's the silo. Um, oh, and here's the seed menu. Oh, okay. So do these go back and forth? I guess not right now when we're doing the thing. So bio one. Oh, okay. So really? I'll put it right here. Right here? Okay. It won't. Oh. Okay. There you go. I think it was a rotation. Good. Now plant another one and we'll be needing it for... Okay. Oh, I see. That's like a single one there. Haha. -ha. Oh, it's growing. Oh, we're going to go and take a look at this. Oh, yeah. A bump, bump. 
Ooh, yeah. Plant the fruits while they're growing. Now you build a silo. The more silos you got, the more biomass you can store. At one time, the capacity depends on the development level, but we will talk about that later. So we need to build a silo. Um, so we probably want it somewhat close to this. Wait, did it? What? 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 Okay, we're going to watch that first. What are you doing, you psycho? Oh, it looks like it wants it over here. I wasn't zoomed enough. What the frig? So they're actually... That is adorable. So do they pick... I, you just almost tripped over that banana. So the banana scatter around. Look at they're using the physics related to it. This is so cool. This is actually a smart place to do it because they kind of roll back in this little you know hole here. So you built your silo, now it's time to build the last element required to make the biomass extractor. It's an important building and it would be a good place near the plantation. It will process the fruit into bio jelly, uh, mean into biomass. Yeah, so build the extractor. Apparently I'm supposed to build this extractor. Now let's zoom out because apparently we have... Oh, there it is. Right in front of us. They have pre... For the... Uh, it's like a... What do you call it? Tutorial. So I'm assuming that's like a predetermined uh, spot. So later on, I'm assuming you can feel free to build it anywhere and wherever you want. Ah. There they go. Great. Now look uh, how the fruits are growing. Mims are beginning to extract their uh, process into biomass to later store the silo. Uh, the world of Mims was. Oh my god. Oh, look at what's going on. Oh, look at. Click to continue. Well, they're actually chucking it right in there. That is so cute. Okay, the sad faces over the men's head mean something's bad. Your mims are tired, and now they move and do everything very slowly. There are two main ways to remedy this. Now you'll get to know one of them. Ooh. Now you will use your PSI to regenerate strength of your mims. To do that, open the PSI menu and click the replenish. Replenish the target by 35 cents and heal. Ah, okay. I guess if we get them in one spot that's a good thing. Uh oh. Every uh, power drains with some amount of PSI energy. Power is grouped into three categories. Defense, uh, supportive, and global. As your progress the tower levels up, you'll get more powers. As now you can use replenish as much as you want. Yay! Yay! Oh, gotta do this. To close the PSI menu, stop using the PSI, click the close button at the corner of the screen. Is there an actual... Uh oh. Maybe I should have paid attention to the close button, guys. Oh well. Can I not... Oh, no, 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 no. Let me use more. Oh, here it is. Ah. As you probably figured out already, the MIMS world isn't built solely off biomass. Your orange creatures also require blue gems. How to get them? Good question. The answer is to farm. Uh, is to, <laughs> ugh, the answer to it is farming business. This ain't easy, so let me explain. Oh no! Oh, look at chicken, chicken, boom! Yay! That seems simple. Uh, in a galaxy, there's many small space markets where you can sell your flock. Oh wow! For gems, you will need a place to create an animal. Uh, create animal. Uh, yes, yeah, so this is an animal. Some food <laughs> for it to grow and a transporter to take it to the space market. Let's uh, get to business. Wait, wait, wait. So are these guys stranded yet we're going to trade with this market? I won't go into that. It's still cute. Okay. Can I can I sneak this in or are they going to yell at me? Oh, I want to use this. They, these sad guys. I don't want to use this. Because we're in the tutorial, I'm assuming you can't you know, use certain things like that yet. So here we go, um, and they have a predetermined place for this. Wow, that's a huge building. They got a lot of cool things. Ooh, a generator. Oh, oh. Look at the try pleasures go. Oh, oh. Oh, we built it. Oh, look at it. You can see inside. That is so cute. 
Okay, MIMS have their first uh, biological laboratory. You can, you should uh, research one of the animals. Let's uh, take the Chono for start. That's the Chono, Chono, Chono. Uh, to do that, uh, select the bio labs, click the research, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so we probably, oh, just click it. Okay, I was like, oh, well, I lost already. Fortunate research for the column costs 200 units of biomass. Well, you can store only 150s in your soil. Don't worry, you can upgrade its capacity by leveling it up. Select your style and do the upgrade. Ooh, I love upgrades. That I love. Silo upgrading. Silo upgraded completed. Great! Remember, you can upgrade most of your buildings. Your silo can now store more biomass and you can research uh, chrono species. No, I wonder. Oh, yeah, you can upgrade them more and more. That's cool. There's probably a max to them, but still, that is awesome. Okay, so here we go. We're going to research these guys. Where is my biomass? Oh, it's up here. <laughs> chrono researching. Ooh, your research in the new species is complete. Chrono, or Kano, Chono, Chono. Did I keep calling it Chrono? Oh, well, Chono, uh, not too bright, not too tough, not even fast, but you can sell it for two gems. Oh my, it's cute looking. Is he like put together with like a sock? Uh, the main vice uh, virtue is that this um, animal loves yellow bile fruit and also grows fast. Ooh, nice. You researched uh, Chrono, but you now need to create it. Well, you can see over the lab building, there's a blinking icon tells you there's no electricity. Uh, to, uh, no electric power. Without it, you can't do anything. Such thing, crane animals. Let's get some electricity. I love this. This is fun. This electricity power can be produced using, uh, for example, wind turbines. They do not produce much electricity, but in the early stage of village creation, they should be enough uh, wind turbines, depending where you build them. The more free space around, the faster it's spinning, and therefore produce more electricity. I have to say, this is one of the first games that, well, as a demo, it probably forces you to do the tutorial, but I don't like doing tutorials usually. I skip them. But this is actually somewhat of a fun, straight-to-earth tutorial, and I'm actually enjoying it. Uh, maybe I'm being forced to do it, period, but at the same time, I'm actually enjoying it. So uh, It seems like windmills are actually better to place them on high flying objects. Can we put them up there? No. But it tells tells us to put it there. So it seems to make more sense if you place your windmills at like the top of a cliff and you place them down at like a low, a low uh, valley or too close to everything, you won't get as much uh, wind and etc. Um, can I sneak this in? Yes! Yes! Oh, you know what? There's a cooldown on that. <laughs> They, they seem sad still, guys. We gotta, we gotta get them there. Ooh, we should have saved it till they all got there. Maybe we can use it here. I'm gonna use it right here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, okay. Just gonna click this again, just in case. Oh yeah, we're gonna do all of you guys at once. Go, 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 go! Yes! Epic click. And there we go. We should be producing some kind of power. Is there a power meter up here? Oh, there we go. The wind turbine is spinning pretty fast. It produces electric energy, so there will be no problem creating the Chono. Create your first animal. Ooh. Here we go. So create a Chono, and here's research, fruit research. Ooh. This is a strange animal. Oh, here it goes. I like how you just like roam the island. Ta-da! You created a Chono. Every animal in the game must be grown up to be sold in order to grow. Every animal have to eat. Some animals require more food than others. Also, every type of animal has different abilities such as speed, toughness, breeding difficulty, and so on. They also feed on different types of fruit, which is displayed for each type of animal in the bio lab. Wow! That's pretty cool. Uh, you can watch your chrono, chono, sorry, chicken eating fruit while building a spaceport. You will use the transporting chono to space market. Watch the chono, uh, watch over the chono while you build the spaceport. Wait, am I building it? Yes. 
Okay, we're building this puppy way back here. So let's just go from... Oh, there we go. Beautiful. Oh no, my friends are not too happy again. You can look at their health. Their energy is so low right now. I feel bad. I'm going to surprise them with another uh, replenish here in a minute. Come on, my friends. Maybe we can get a couple more of those guys here. Oh, look at them. Looks like a really good spot. Let's see if we can get a couple more in there. Oh, look at We're missing, like, one single one in there. I'd like to get them all. Go! Yes! <gasps> They're all happy so far. Yeah. Okay, if you zoom uh, to your animal, you'll see that it grows up while eating. It gets uh, plumage and then other attributes grow up the show. When it becomes an adult, green exclamation mark will appear over. This means you can transport it to the space market. Space market, take a look at it. You can select and deselect the animal you currently want to load in the transporter. Also, you can switch to loading on and off. Deselect three other types of animals and leave the chono selected. Now load your transport. Okay, so, ooh, here we go. We have the Desaurus load on and off. Oh my. The Pelio load off. The Flab bit load off. And load transporter. Now wait for the Shona to grow and enter the space. Meanwhile, I tell you an interesting story about this world. Once upon a time, all these flying islands were a planet. Ooh, it's kryptonite. However, the planet was considerably bom uh, bombarded by a meteor shower and it gradually crumbled into pieces. Oh, so it's Earth. Uh, now there are hundreds of thousands of floating islands, beautiful yet dangerous. I like the idea. I like, it clearly kept the atmosphere. And <laughs> Don't go into technicals, you silly. I think it's actually a great idea. This is the problem. Sometimes developers out there will come up with ideals like that, right? Like, clearly, you know, physics, not physics, but astronomy, it doesn't matter. Like, you know, a planet blows up into a million pieces, or thousands of pieces. It can't be like this, of course. I mean, look at it. It's like we're on Earth almost. Like, it looks amazing. But at the same time, it's a video game. Don't make it super realistic, because then you can come up with cool ideas like that. Oh, look at the planet back there. That's awesome. Oh! So is he going to make his way to the spaceport? Yeah, I guess he will. Nice. Just enter the spaceport. Check how many animals are loaded. Just click on the transport. You can upgrade your transport capacity, etc. There we go. It's time to earn your first gem. Send your transporter to space market. First, load it up with biomass. It is its fuel. <laughs> now send it by clicking the transport button. Okay, so how do I fill the biomass? Oh, I wish I was paying attention. Oh no. Oh, actually I think I was supposed to click it. Refuel transporter. 100 biomass, so you'll see it instantly take it from there. Which it will replenish pretty damn fast anyways. I guess it's actively filling up. I don't know if that means the cooldown or if it's actually actively filling the transporter right now. Oh, I think we're ready. Oh, another tooltip didn't go. Take off. Whoa, there it goes. Whee! And she's off. Oh. I turned up the sound. Hopefully you guys can still hear me. I probably shouldn't have turned it up that high. There we go. Oh, crap. I missed what it said. Hopefully you guys saw it. You survived the first day! Yay! Victory! Day 2. House and destroyed tree. Uh-oh. And guys, it looks like this is a good spot to stop our first episode. I know this is going to be horrible and mean, but I feel like this is a perfect spot. And we'll start episode two uh, soon, hopefully, for you guys. But uh, this is so much fun. I can't wait to play more. So thank you guys and girls for watching so far, and I will see you guys soon.